What's up, everybody? This is Andy Field. Hey, I'm going to show you my super awesome trick on how to split files. Normally in VoiceOver, when we have to split files for the client, we charge a dollar a piece. And even though that's okay compensation, it's still a pain to do. So the faster we can split files, uh, the better it is for us. So uh, I'm recording today for a navigation app, you know, like your GPS uh, Google Maps or Waze or anything like that. So over here on the left is how the client wants the files named exactly. So file number one will be named 200. File number two will be named 200 meters with no space. File number three will be named 400. Uh, all the way down. Uh, and then they have some black and orange files which need to be saved in different folders. But And then here's my, my script that I'm going to record. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to record in Twisted Wave, and I'm going to use the marker. And you can press the letter M on your keyboard to insert a marker, or I have it programmed in as a shortcut on my gaming mouse. So I just hit it with my thumb, and I go. So I'll start recording here, and then I'll, I'll zip through that at the end so you can see the cool part. So here we go, recording. Oh, and then notice here on Twisted Wave, you have the option of showing this box when adding markers. You don't want that in this case. So I'm going to unclick that so that it'll just automatically add a marker without asking me what I want to name the marker. So now let me start over here. Select all, delete. All right. Here we go. In 0 0.1 miles, in 200 meters, in a quarter of a mile, in 400 meters, <laughs> okay, so here we are. I've recorded all of the um, all of the prompts in 0 0.1 miles. Okay, now what you want, you don't want this empty space before marker one, so just delete it. Other, you, you can live with it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go in Twisted Wave to the markers. Now, I've inserted a mistake in here on purpose just so you can um, so you can see this. So one thing I want to do is I want to take my script here and I want to get rid of the empty lines. Yeah, I want to delete these empty rows. Delete row. Um, because I'm going to copy the whole column of file names, and I don't want those blanks. Okay, here we go. And, you know, I just thought of a great idea. Just now, while I'm making this video, uh, that will really help too. Um, let's see. Got to get rid of this. Okay, and these last ones don't count. They were an addition. Okay, and then I just thought of a great idea. Watch this. I'm going to... Um, did I just change something? Oh, no, okay. Let me delete that again. Okay, I'm going to uh, insert another row here, another column. Insert one column left. And then uh, one really handy thing that's going to work out well for me as I check for mistakes is one, two, three. Okay, and I'm going to grab these three... And grab this little, yeah, grab this little handle here, and it uh it continues the pattern that I've already typed in there. So I'm gonna go to here. All right, so I know that I have 68 files, right? Well, if I go to my markers window here in Twisted Wave, um, scroll down to the bottom. No, I've got 69. So I either did one too many or not enough. Uh, so um, so here's what we do. Well, you want autoplay checked right there. And then you just click on each marker and you're just kind of double checking and you get the down arrow on your keyboard. In 0 0.1, in 200, in a quarter, in 400, in... I'm just checking in here. Eight, in 0 point, in one kilometer... So what I'm looking at here is I'm on marker 8. I look at 8, and 8 did say in one kilometer. So I'm still good. My markers are all good to go right now. I'm watching for that error that I've made somewhere. In one mile, in one point, in 500 feet, 
Red light camera reported ahead. Smile. Speed trap reported ahead. Oh. Heavy traffic reported ahead. It's a good time for some pizza. Okay, so 29 should have said speed trap reported ahead instead of heavy traffic. So I know that my error is on 28 and 29. I'm going to get out of my markers window right now. And I can see right here, 28, this should be 29 right here. Also, I'm glad I caught, I should have deleted some of this empty space here. All right, so I need another marker here. Now notice, Twisted Wave immediately marks that as number 70. All right, but if I go to my markers window, what does it do? It's got 70 way down here at the end, doesn't it? Nope. Oh, it's got all kind of stuff jacked up. Where's 70? Is it in between 28 and 29? Yep, there it is. So it's got them in the order I need them in. Okay, that's good. All right, so I'm going to pick back up here in my markers window at 29. Markers window, 29 should be speed trap reported ahead. So we're going to go there. Heavy traffic reported ahead. It's a good time for some pizza. Heavy traffic reported ahead. It's a good time for some pizza. Heavy traffic. Speed trap reported ahead. Speed trap reported ahead. There's probably Speed a better trap way to... reported ahead. There's probably Speed a Speed trap reported Stop. ahead. Speed trap reported okay. ahead. There's probably a better Speed way. Speed trap reported ahead. Why is it doing that? Oh, I'm on loop. Okay, um, so there's probably a better way to fix that. I probably could make this 29. I probably could have slid marker 29 over whatever. I'm just not going to, okay? I'm just going to make sure I'm going to go to 28 markers, marker window, and I'm just going to start playing from 28 and just know that they should be in this order. So that should be red light camera, 28. Red light camera reported ahead. Smile. Speed trap. Heavy traffic. Vehicle stopped on route. And then... Let's go. Why is 65 not playing? Let's go to 65 and see. Did I delete 65? There is no 65. Is it hidden here with 66? Okay. Oh, look right here. There's two of them shoved in here together. Is that 65? Yeah, we don't need 65, so we just drag it down here, and now it's gone. Okay, so it's picking up with 63. That was an unintentional error. That's free. That's free for everybody. There you go. We're ready to roll. Drive safely, and remember, welcome to the first phase. Begin driving. Average speed enforcement zone ahead. Entering speed enforcement zone. Proceed with caution. In 0 0.1 miles. Okay, and we've started over. All right, so good news. All of my markers are now in the right order. So here comes the fun. Check this out. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to copy the column with the names in it. And Twisted Wave is a little wonky about this, so I've got this copied. This should fit perfectly. First file is named 200. Last file is named Speed Enforcement Zone. All right, so we're going to go here to the marker window, click on marker 1. In 0 0.1 double miles. Double-click it, and then just paste the file names. But see, it likes to do that. Then just hit Enter, and for some In reason In 200 meters. Okay, so we can see the first file is named 200. In 0 0.1 miles. And the last one is named marker 69. In 0 0.1 miles. In 200 meters. In a quarter of a mile. In 400 meters. In half. Why does marker 60? Okay, that's weird. Where is marker 69? Right here at the end? Okay, for some reason, okay, I'm glad it showed that. We don't even need that marker, so it's gone. So now if we look at our window, marker window, 
First file is named 200, or the first marker, and the last marker is named Speed Enforcement Zone. So we can assume that all of these are now correct. So now, here's the easy thing. We just go marker, split by markers. We want to save them as WAV files. We can number them. What will that do? I don't want to do that. Okay, uh, and then we're going to split, and we're going to split it to the place where we want it, which in my case is this untitled folder, and off they go. And so when I go to my untitled folder, there they are, all in here. Now I'll have to take these and divide them up into the black and orange folder, which is going to be a pain because these are now sorted alphabetically, and these are not sorted alphabetically. So that'll be a slight pain, but still way better than it was before. So that's how I split files in Twisted Wave. Hope it helps you. Bye-bye.